in this video i am going to show you how to perform uh, the uh, reject inference so um, as i have said uh, uh, reject inference is only performed uh, in the case of application scorecard so assume for a moment that we are doing uh, application scorecard we have uh, a set of uh, rejected customers so these are the customers uh, who applied loans uh, in the bank but the bank denied credit so historically uh, these are the rejected customers and we have information uh, about them the age of the customer the amount they applied for and the duration um, and the rate of interest and everything is there for uh, these customers as well uh, and also their demographic information and so on um, so in total we have 200 observations you can see uh, so there are 200 rejected customers for whom we have the data set. So we will perform reject inference on this. Um, to do that, what we will do is that first we will try to score all these customer with the model that we already have built. So we have already built a model uh, and then we will just score it. So for that, uh, we will run the uh, WAE uh, values uh, in order to transform these variables into WAE. Uh, variables uh, so use the WI value that we already have and uh, since we already have this model statistic in place our model statistics uh, is there in the data set out underscore plane so um, we will just run this to score the rejected customers so in the score data just use the reject data and the output data is reject one so that is where the score data will be uh, saved okay so reject one is the uh, okay go to the reject one and you will see you will see each one of these uh, you will see that uh, the customers are actually scored okay so previously we didn't know that out of these two custom 200 customers who are the good customers and bad customers because we rejected these customers in, in past so if, if, if you haven't given any loan to them you will never know uh, what are you know what would they be if they were given a loan so now with the help of the model that we have built we find out if a customer is good or bad the customer is bad it's one or it's zero you can see this uh, good bad indicator that is created okay now once we have scored this 200 customers we can use we, we can uh, we can uh, just merge this data or this uh, 200 customer in the uh, accepted or development data so uh, development data consists of only uh, the accepted customer till now we will be adding the rejected customer information now so you can do a proc frequency to see how many customers are actually bad and good and then uh, before doing that uh, what we're doing here is that uh, the good bad customer is actually uh, coming to be uh, well the, the good bad uh, variable is actually coming to be uh, i underscore good bad so we're just renaming it and what we are also doing is here is that uh, it's a text uh, it's a text variable so we are just multiplying with a number in order to make it uh, you know numerical variable because otherwise it will in, during the time of merge if there are two types of variables one is a text and one is a um, uh, numerical then it's going to create problem so since it's a text and in the original data set in the development data set it's a numerical variable simply add, multiply with any number and you will get a numerical value We'll get a numerical uh, variable so now after doing all these things uh, we have the reject uh, data in which we uh, have uh, the um, the uh, rejected customers informations and uh, the updated good bad indicator and the development data so we merge these two data sets and we get what is and we give it a new name credit development updated now in our development data had 600 observation and then reject has got 200 so in total we have now 800 observations um, let us run this okay so 
Now with updated data, we will build our model again. Now remember that when you build a model again, uh, we start with the same kind of analysis that we have been doing and there could be changes in the number of final variables. Okay, and the, uh, because of the updation of data, there will be certain changes or uh, probably it would be exactly the same. So, and, um, so these are the, these are the things that uh, uh, one can expect. So we will run the WA code again to make sure that the variables, all the variables are transformed into WA. And then we will run, uh, do the remodeling work. So we will run the proc logistic with the updated data. So uh, our updated data is edit underscore development underscore updated. And then we will use the same set of variables and we'll see if a new variable is coming out in the model. Um, in case you have like too many independent variables, there could be, uh, there's a possibility of change in the uh, significant variables. Otherwise, it will uh, mostly be same. There will be a slight difference in the estimates. So now we can see the model that we have got is actually uh, uh, free from any bias due to the rejected customers. Okay, uh, and we can use this model, which is a final model, in order to uh, in order to you know score the new customers. So uh, that's where uh, that's how we perform the reject inference. Uh, and remember, this is only done in the case of application scorecard. And we don't do that for behavioral scorecards.